The new season just dropped and in today's video I'm going to show you how to fully optimize your PC for free so you can get the highest FPS possible and I'm dropping this video right as the season goes live so you guys can get the best settings and optimization instruments. Without wasting any time let's get right into it. So over here we have the normal settings. I'm going to be covering every Fortnite settings and keep in mind it's the new season so these could possibly change but I'm going to talk about the stuff that hasn't changed in a long time. Now I do play on stretch res so it is on the full screen but if you don't play stretch res just keep it on full screen. V-Sync off never turn it on unless you're playing Forza Horizon or something, but never turn it on. Frame limit, you always want to have it above your monitor hertz, unless you're on 240 hertz monitor. So like if you have a 180 hertz monitor, put it to 200. If you're on 200 hertz, put it to 40. And if you're like a, on a 165 hertz monitor, to put, put it to 180. So it's just self-explanatory. You just want to minimize screen tearing. So when you're like left to right, your screen doesn't get bugged. And for rendering mode, if you're on a 50 series or AMD GPU, always put it to performance. But if you're on a 40 series and below, put it to legacy. All right, here you are, brightness. Uh, this is personal preference mostly, but I, I play on 130. And then color bright mode is Triton Hope but with 10. And user interface parallax, never turn this on. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but don't turn it on. It might be buggy. 3D resolution, put it to 100. And then view distance i have it on epic you can have it on near it doesn't really matter textures i have it on low measures i have it on low as well show fps and then nvidia reflects low latency have it on on plus boost that's about it all right let's go to sound and all you got to do is put this to low and then subtitles all the way to the left this doesn't really matter and then language or region you go all the way down disable everything that you see here replace all of them off and energy saving all of them off and that's about it you can go ahead and restart your game and that's it now let's get into the free tweaks and it is in a discord server like always discord server it has to be here's the discord server it is called risen tweaks i've made tons of videos on them but today we're going to be talking about their free tweaks they're actually really great and a lot of people have tried them so all right so here's the tweaking panel they have a ton of free optimizations for you to do today we're going to be doing the tweaking panel so over here we have the download just click it And over here, you want to click download. Once it downloads, you want to go ahead and open it, right click and run as an admin. And it automatically creates a restore point. So in case something goes wrong, you can just go back to the restore point you made. So over here, we have Windows settings, deep low, CPU tweaks, miscellaneous, clean temporary files, and data queue stuff. Let's start with Windows settings. Number one, settings, power plan, block updates, disable term sheet, and IO tweaks. So number one, the best Windows settings, Power plan. I don't have the best one and it is their paid one, but if you don't have a paid version, you can just use the free plan. Block updates. And then right here, just disable updates and turn this off and click apply. I've already done it, so I don't need to do it again. Number four, disable telemetry. Number five, IO tweaks, or is that 10 tweaks? I don't know, I'm blind. I'll just work here, okay? Now let's go back and hit the low. I've already done it, so if I do it, it's just gonna mess up my PC. I'm not gonna do it. Number two, startup apps. So basically, it gets lazy, it won't do it for you. You gotta do it yourself. So it opens Task Manager, you go to Startups, and over here, whatever you see that says Enabled, like that, just right click and click Disable. Disable everything. That's over. Number three, CPU tweaks. Next, Miscellaneous, Menu Kill Time, and MSI Mode. Over here, it opens the MSI mode utility. Find your GPU. Right here, man, is a RTX 3060. On the priority section, click it and put it to high and hit apply. That's it. Go back, clean temporary files, number five, and then data queue size. Over here, we have data queue size, and these numbers mean something. I'm gonna explain it. So, this is to see how long delay you can go before you get micro stutters. And if you're confused on what numbers to get, comment down below your specs and I'll give you the number. Basically, the lower end your PC is, basically the, the worse it is, you gotta put it the high number, and the better it is, you gotta put it to low number. And if you get micro slutters, you gotta put it up by one. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Mine is on 16, so yeah. And that's it for the tweaking panel. Uh, if these three tweaks help you out, there's a paid panel, and I'm doing a giveaway also, but the paid panel takes it to a whole new level. You get better optimization, more FPS, a smoother input. Check it out at risentweaks.com and use code YT15 for a discount in case you don't win the giveaway. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.